Welcome back, everybody, to Larry's Fountain Pins. I'm Larry, the pin bug guy. Peace. Today is an important video, not to all, but to those who can relate to a ballpoint. Yes, a ballpoint. I know there are folks out there in fountain pen world that absolutely hate ballpoint pens. But then, from time to time, as you well know, there may come a time that you may truly need a ballpoint pen. Because not everything that we use our fountain pens that we love dearly will work, let's say, when you're writing a check that has duplicates. Not going to work. Now, I know that for a fact because that's I've done that many, many times. So I have to void out the check, not once, twice, but three times, and then do it with the ballpoint. So this video is dedicated to the ballpoint pen. But not any ballpoint pen. Oh, sure, there's the Bic ballpoint pen. Remember these little guys? I remember back in school, junior high school, when uh, these were really the pen. Remember these? It was blue. Blue ink. Now this ballpoint, the Bic, has a broad nib on it. The other Bic that I was talking about when I had in school was more of a fine nib on the point, rather. But Bic, a good fountain pen. A lot of people use these. And when you're done with it, you throw them away. And I can go on and on and uh, tell you of other ballpoint pens. But uh, I guess I'll just leave it at that. A ballpoint pen is a ballpoint pen. Press down hard, right, you know the whole nine yards. You've done the dance many times. So, let's focus on this particular ballpoint pen that I'm talking about today. Not just any. In my opinion, this is one of the better ballpoint pens. It is the Monteverdi Invincia. Just look at the barrel of the pen. Look at that beautiful detail work that's all in it. The color is black with like white kind of grayish swirls going in it. It's just a beautiful design ballpoint pen. And it's got a nice clip on there. The pen is really made well. And on the cap, of course, it has Monteverde USA. Invencia, and this is the Executive 3. So, nicely engraved in there. And on the smaller band, it has black, uh, red, and 0 0.5. So, what does that mean? It means it has a black ink a red ink, and a lead pencil, all three in one, 0 0.5. Well, the black ink and the red ink, when I got the pen, was dried up, didn't write. So what I did was I ordered the broad nibs. Uh, I ordered a orange and a turquoise. And they rode, but it was really too light. Uh, to to read uh, so it was just like you really had to get down to it and look at the paper so it just wasn't cutting the mustard so I went back and reordered and I got the Monteverde refills and just got a black and a blue one for now 
well, I know how it's going to write because it's a ballpoint. But what the heck? A very nice ballpoint pen that doesn't get hardly any love whatsoever because it's an outcast. It's a ballpoint pen. How ridiculous. How pathetic. A ballpoint pen. How dare you? Well, if you know me by now, I'm the one that always crosses the line. I will go where others dare not go. And ballpoint pens has landed. For you that are into ballpoint pens or understand the importance of a ballpoint pen, here it is. And uh, as you turn the barrel, it'll go to, let's say, uh, black, and then you turn it towards, your, towards yourself, and then you'll get a blue, and twist it again, and it's gone. It goes back, back up into the barrel. And then the top here, on the top of the cap, that cover is for, you pull it off, and there's your eraser. And you can get refills for it, and that's cool. So, how do you fill this thing? Take off the cap. Voila! And there they are. This is the pencil for the mechanical pencil. And then here's your two refills, the black and the blue. And it just goes, they fit in. This comes easy out. They're the mini refills. And they just go right back in. And, you know, Monteverdi sells them, eBay, they're, they're not hard to find, and you screw it back on. And there you have it. The Monteverdi Invincia Executive 3 ballpoint pen. So let's do some writing with it. I hope you're finding this pen interesting, because, you know, I, I did. Now this pen retails for like 140 bucks. Check it out. Don't believe me. Check it out. But you can get them from sellers right now. I think like 70, 80 bucks, sometimes 90. But uh, it's a nice looking pen. It's the kind of pen that you can take to the office for sure. So let me just. Get it ready to write. Monteverdi and Vincent. And this is a ballpoint. And I don't have to press down hard on the ballpoint for it to write. It's, it's smooth, no problems. It really... does the job So, if you're into ballpoint pens, you might want to check out the Monteverdi line of ballpoint pens. Here, there's there's other lines. Cross has a good one. A really 
nice one in fact I do like crossed as well so there you have it Larry's FP what's FP for fountain pens this is a decent ballpoint pen it's got class it has styled it's got some nice weight it's uh, not going to be super heavy but you, you will feel some weight you know you have a nice ballpoint pen in your hand uh, just a great looking pen something that uh, you won't you know be ashamed of like I'm not ashamed of the big by no means but look at the difference these are fine as well there's nothing wrong with the big I know a lot of people like the big they're affordable it's what you can afford it's all about your buck how you spend it the big is a decent pen for what it is and this big has the 16 millimeter on it so it's a broader tip on it and it does well and while we're at it let's just show you and that's a nice line and here is the Monteverde it's thinner not as broad but it's very smooth very decent uh, ballpoint pen but then when you go back to the back very smooth very decent rider you can pick these up for what 79 cents 69 So this is the kind of pen that if you lose it, no big deal. Get another one. On the other hand, this is the kind of pen if you lose it, not good. Expensive. But if you're into ballpoint pens, well worth the money. That's going to do it, folks. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about the ballpoint pen. If you made it all the way to the end of this video means that you are really digging the ballpoint pen or if you changed it because you got bored and got just gassed out hey I can dig it that's your thing cool but remember I'm the pen book guy I do all kinds of pens that's the magic of my channel I love fountain pens I know you do too peace talk to you later oh remember 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 don't text and drive. I'm out of here.